Today we're going to describe the different vaccine types and the advantages and disadvantages of each. Because these vaccines are so similar to the natural infection that they help prevent, they create a strong and long-lasting immune response. Just one or two doses of most live vaccines can give you a lifetime of protection against the germ and the disease it causes. Additionally, the vaccines are most common. On the contrary, because these vaccines do contain a small amount of a weakened live virus, they should not be given to patients with weakened immune systems such as patients on high dose steroids, undergoing cancer chemotherapy treatment, or if they have certain diseases such as HIV. Inactivated vaccines are created by inactivating a pathogen, typically using heat or chemicals such as formaldehyde or formalin. This destroys the pathogen's ability to replicate, but keeps it intact so that the immune system can still recognize it. Inactivated vaccines often stimulate a much weaker immune response than live vaccines. Therefore, there are typically several doses needed before gaining immunity to a disease. In addition, booster shots are sometimes needed to keep immunity to the disease. Without regular access to health care, many people are not aware of boosters or given the opportunity to get have the boosters. These people have a false sense of immunity to these diseases.